Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. Today we're unboxing and testing out the number one best-selling kit of nail art crystals on Amazon. With over 1,800 rhinestones for less than $8 on Amazon Prime, we thought we needed to try these out for ourselves. We'll also have a link for you guys in the description box as well in case you're interested in getting them for yourself. Hey, it's Julie. Now let's jump right on into the video. First, let's unbox and open up this package of crystals and see what comes inside. You get one wax pencil, which is used for picking up the rhinestones. You also get a set of stainless steel tweezers, which have a teeny tiny point for picking up even the smallest of crystals. And of course, you get two packages of crystals. One comes with flat back round rhinestones in various sizes, and these are so sparkly, guys. Wait till you see them in action later in the video. And you get a plastic container with different shapes of crystals. This little box has 120 pieces and the baggie of flat back rhinestones has 1,728 pieces of rhinestones. So these are gonna last you guys a long time. So let's create some looks with these crystals. This first nail design is supposed to be like a cascading waterfall of diamonds. As always, we're gonna start with a base coat to protect our natural nails. And the base color I'm choosing for this design is a light purple color, but you can pick any base color you want. Once that's dry, I'm going to apply a rhinestone top coat, but if you'd like, you can always use a nail glue or even gel to adhere these crystals. Then while that top coat is still wet, I'm gonna start with the largest size of the flat back rhinestone, and I'm gonna apply that right near my cuticle, and then I'm gonna go down in size and gradually bring those smaller sized crystals down my nail like it's cascading. For the tiny little gaps near my cuticle, I applied some of the smaller rhinestones, and there you have a super easy, glamorous look. I did this on two nails, kind of like two accent nails, and then on the rest of my nails, I just applied one rhinestone. Then to seal these in, I use top coat and I apply it to the polished portion of my nail, and then I take a precise detail brush and just run some top coat around any of the crystals to make sure that it is adhered to the nail and there's no gaps. For the next nail design, I'm bringing in a matte element to the look. I'm starting with a neutral color and I'm applying two coats of that, letting it totally dry, and then I'm gonna top that with a matte top coat and let that fully dry. And for this look, I'll be using one of the elongated almond shaped rhinestones. And I wish you guys could see these in person. The color of these crystals is so pretty. They're like prisms. And then above that crystal, I applied a medium sized flat back rhinestone. And the tweezers provided in this kit make it super easy to maneuver the crystals into place. I love the combination of the super sparkly rhinestone and that matte finish. I feel like this is such a chic design. And last but not least, I'll show you how to do this faux French fade manicure with a cool tiara style crystal arrangement. To create the faux French fade, you're gonna need a semi-translucent white polish or a very milky white polish. First, start by applying one coat of that, let it totally dry, and then go in with another coat, but don't start all the way down at your cuticle. Start a little bit above it and then fill in the rest of the nail let that dry and then repeat that but keep moving up until you finish by just capping the free edge of the nail and hopefully it'll kind of look like a subtle ombre effect it helps if you have longer nails and you can already see your nail line a little bit and then to blend all of those different layers together I'm gonna finish with a very sheer neutral polish you could even use a clear polish to do this then once that dried I applied more of my rhinestone top coat and now we're gonna add some sparkle. I'm starting with that gorgeous diamond shaped crystal and I applied that to the center of my nail and then on either side I applied two small flat back rhinestones kind of curving up following the natural moon of my nail and then above the top point of that diamond shaped crystal I applied two more rhinestones and I love how this turned out it reminds me of a tiara or sort of like a cool caged look I think it's really pretty and there you have three insanely sparkly gorgeous nail designs you guys I could not stop looking at my nails after I did these manicures. If you'd like to check out more Cute Polish videos, you can click on these boxes here and click the circle to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. If you'd like to check out my personal nail channel, you can click on the circle here. As always, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time. Bye!